Have you ever tried to shovel snow in a blizzard? Well, I work at an indoor playground in downtown Bellingham called Perch and Play. My job is the play host, where I interact with the children, provide behavioral management, and keep the play area as clean as I can, which can be a lot like trying to shovel snow in a blizzard. <laughs> I was at work the other day, walking down the stairs towards the play area, and I heard this young girl behind me yell, "Bye, mom! I'm gonna go play with the hairy man!" <laughs> at first, I thought, "Geez, does that mean I need to shave?" Then my silly brain did its thing, and my thoughts split off into a million different directions until something struck me. I wondered how many men this girl had worked with in a professional childcare setting. Then I moved to, I wonder how many men any of these kids have worked with. In fact, how many guys work with children professionally? I mean, like a childcare center with infants, toddlers, and preschool. Or in the younger primary grades, like kindergarten or first grade, you've probably already thought about it before. But I know I didn't until I started working in a childcare center myself, and I took the position because my young, naive, wanting to be a high school teacher self thought it's kind of like teaching. As I entered this job, I entered a realm where the children served as a heartbeat for the entire building. It was amazing to see how competent and capable the kids were, and the teachers, yes, teachers, were fantastic. This particular center had two male preschool teachers, so I was under the impression that was the norm. I fell in love with early childhood education, and I haven't had a job outside the field since. But. As I moved from preschool jobs to after-school programs for school-age kids, summer programs, indoor playgrounds, and even in my own schooling, I noticed a common theme: there aren't a lot of guys working with kids. There is a need for more men to enter the field of early childhood education. <laughs> A few months ago, we were having a slower night at Perch and Play with maybe ten or so children in the play area. We had been playing an intense game of hide and go seek, which lasted for hours. Then the games began to weave in and out of each other, from hide and go seek to tag to being kings and queens, and back to hide and seek again. One particular child, a seven or eight-year-old girl, was attached to my hip the entire time. But I didn't get annoyed. Instead, I embraced her enthusiasm and joined in her play. After closing, I was cleaning up in the cafe when I found a note addressed to myself and my coworker Roger. I changed the name of the child in the note to keep things confidential. It read, "Roger and Alex." Today, you both made a huge difference in a little girl's life. My daughter is Ashley. You played with her for hours, and I watched the joy and light in her eyes. Her dad works nights. She never gets to see him, and when she does, he doesn't play with her like you did. You may just be doing your job, but you made a huge impact today, and I want to thank you both from the bottom of my heart. Ashley is such an amazing girl and such a blessing, and I sat here with tears in my eyes watching you both interact with her like she was a person, and not a kid being too loud. She will be talking about you both for weeks. Thank you for making a difference in her life and putting a smile on her face. Thank you. I love this note. It is reflective of the things parents say to me all the time. They appreciate the way I play with their children, that I show them men can be nurturing, playful, and trustworthy, because that is something that may be absent in their lives. Too often, children are not getting an opportunity to interact with adult men in a positive, developmentally appropriate way. In the United States, only 5.6 percent of childcare workers are men. And worse than that, 
only two and a half percent of our preschool and kindergarten teachers are men. The need is there. It's evident. And as we begin to recruit more men into joining the work of educating the next generation, three main things will be accomplished. It will support gender equality, provide positive male role models for children, and bring support and guidance to male caregivers. <clears throat> as we begin to move away from the stereotypical 1950s gender roles, the field of early childhood education has been lethargic in cultivating a gender-neutral workforce, which is just fancy talk for we used to think taking care of children was a job for just women, and now that we are finally changing our minds, men aren't joining in the work. If we truly want to move towards gender equality, our distribution in the workforce needs to represent these ideals. It isn't enough that women are joining in fields predominantly held by men. Men need to join in the work predominantly held by women as well. <laughs> And let's be honest, while we can make a difference now by recruiting more men to the field, the real work is going to come in motivating our children and teaching them that early childhood education is important and is a job for everyone, including men. One of the most effective ways of educating young children is through modeling. So they need to actually see men caring for young children to internalize it as true. Kids seeing men care for young children is such a powerful message. There are so many media outlets showing stereotypical masculine traits to children, and unfortunately, adult men caring for kids is not typically one of them. Or if it is, it's something like showing how chaotic things are when dad babysits. Excuse me, dads do not babysit, they parent just like mothers do. Children need to have a positive male role model who shows value in child care. One of my favorite things to do while playing with the children is to join in the dramatic play of house, taking care of the babies and pretending to call in on faraway family members. The young boys around me see this giant, hairy man bouncing a plastic baby doll pretending to get them to sleep. What type of caregivers are we raising our young boys to be if we teach them that playing with dolls or pretending to care for young children is a bad thing or just for girls. There is power in men being present in the classroom. The power comes in the creation of opportunity. With the staggering number of cases of domestic abuse and violence against women, it is vital that we educate our children to be respectful to everyone. Having a male early childhood educator in the conversation provides an opportunity to model for young children appropriate behaviors between two individuals of opposite genders. This shows the children that the way you interact with someone shouldn't change even if that person is different than yourself. Honestly, I feel like that's a lesson many adults need a reminder in as well. <laughs> While the way you interact with someone shouldn't change, even if that person is different than yourself, that doesn't mean it's not difficult to open up to someone whom you might not have lots in common with. Men in early childhood education bring support and guidance to male caregivers. The first time I saw a male kindergarten teacher was the first time I could truly see myself in that profession. When men see other men caring for young children, they are more likely to be an active participant in their own child's education. Men in early childhood education can provide a platform for male caregivers to reach out and ask questions about child care with someone whom they identify with. Once this connection has been made, we can begin to support male caregivers by creating an inviting, trustworthy relationship and starting a meaningful dialogue about child development and developmentally appropriate practices. Once uh, this connection has been made, we can begin to support male caregivers um, through modeling. One of, um, this provides clear guidance to male caregivers through the rapid development of childhood. You know, thinking back to the note left at Perch and Play, 
They said, he, her dad, doesn't play with her like you did. I wonder if he has any, had any child development or childcare training. As a parent of a young daughter, I feel blessed to have my knowledge and resources because I know what's happening with this tiny human and I still feel like a deer in headlights. <laughs> As a man embarking into the professional world of early childhood education, I can help support a fellow male caregiver by providing workshops, resources, or anything else they might need. If you would have asked me in my youth what I was going to be when I grew up, I don't think teaching our youngest individuals would have been anywhere on my radar. It wasn't until I got my feet wet in the work that I knew this was for me, and it changed my life forever. My hope is that more men will be involved in their children's education. My dream is that the field of early childhood education will be held in the highest regard, flourishing with a diverse team of qualified educators, including both women and men. Thank you.